Hi everyone, this is the Love and Money Show, and today I'm going to talk about your retirement plan and what is going on in the White House. So this falls under the American Rescue Plan. If you remember, it was the American Rescue Plan that resulted in some people getting these $1,400 stimulus checks, uh, some people getting child tax credits, and some people getting aid to local governments. Now, these things may have applied to you and they may have not, but all of this was under the American Rescue Plan. So there's something else under the American Rescue Plan that is not getting that much media attention. And this has to do with your retirement. So we're going to talk about it right now. So what is happening is that $86 billion, billion is being deployed to Trouble retirement plans. And when I speak of retirement plans, this is specifically for people with pensions. And so the majority of us do not have pensions because we don't stay at a job long enough to have a pension. This is the internet generation that I, I, I am talking to. You more than likely, you go from job to job because you live in different states. Perhaps you are getting your education. Uh, there's a lot of different things going on. But the internet generation generally does not stay at one job for 10 years to qualify for a pension. But I'm going to explain to you what is going on for those who are waiting for a pension in retirement. So $86 billion is being deployed because the pensions are in trouble. And by trouble, what I mean is you stay at this one job for 10 years, for 20 years, expecting to retire with a pension. Then you, when you retire, you discover that this pension that you have been depending on is not there. There is no pension. So that is what's happening. As far as the pensions go, they are in, tr in trouble. They are becoming unreliable. Kind of like what is going on with cryptocurrency, where you see people losing their money that are in cryptocurrency. So the same thing is happening with pensions. Pensions are in trouble. Hence, $86 billion is being deployed to troubled pensions. And so this will spare two to three million people uh, who would otherwise have a reduction in their pension or no pension at all. So they expect to save about 127,000 pensions. And this is titled under an act called Butch Lewis Act. This is the Butch Lewis Act deploying $86 billion to troubled pensions. Now, as you know, the American Rescue Plan was put in place specifically for COVID, for the pandemic. So some people have a problem with this Butch Lewis Act because of the fact that it has nothing to do with the pandemic and the American Rescue Plan was supposed to address problems associated with the pandemic. So this is what is currently going on in the White House. $86 billion being deployed to troubled pensions. And so White House, if you're watching me right now, if you have $86 billion to deploy to troubled pensions, how about deploying $1 billion to African Americans who have adverse effects of slavery that happened 400 years ago? So take that into consideration because obviously you have billions of dollars, 86 billion. So that is what is happening in the White House. Now, like I said before, I'm talking to the internet generation. More than likely, if you're an internet generation, you don't have a pension anyway. But I just wanted to let you know what is going on in the White House. As far as retirement is concerned, you wanna make sure 
that you're, you're not depending on what the White House does and what the White House doesn't do. Set your own self up for retirement by buying rental property now so that you can be comfortable in retirement. So you're going to buy rental property and also investing in stock market, also creating your own business. So diversifying so that you are not depending on anybody but yourself and God. Diversification. And as far as the businesses go, then you would want to try out different businesses until you find out which one do you like and which one creates the most profit for you. So just jumping in there, pick a business, jump in there and work on the business every day. Okay. It's all about diversification and setting your own self up for retirement, not relying on anyone but you and God. Okay. Diversification. That is the key. Buying your property, investing in the stock market, creating your businesses. Now there's this book called The One Thing. And somebody that I interviewed, he mentioned the book, The One Thing, that he wanted to do two businesses, but he decided to focus on the one business based on an advice that a mentor gave him. So I would like to know what are your thoughts about that if you have multiple interests? Majority of us are not just interested in one thing. We're interested in multiple things. We are multifaceted people. So I would like your thoughts in the comments. Do you agree with this one thing concept or not? For example, Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart is a actor. Kevin Hart is a real estate investor. That's not just one thing. Um, Tony Robbins. He has an ad going on YouTube. You may have seen it because you're the internet generation, like I said. So Tony Robbins, in his ad, he says that he has 105 companies, 105. So that's that's not one thing. That's 105. So leave your thoughts. I would like to know what your thoughts are. One thing or multifaceted. What do you think? So this is the Love and Money Show. If you like this show, please share it with one other person. Please hit the like button. It helps the channel. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell next to it so that you won't miss the episode. And then leave your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for listening and have a great rest of your night.